Hey guys, so finally we've reached to this Kafolo Lagoon. Don't uh, get confused with Kafolo Lagoon because there's one in Bijeville also. But we have come to Jackville Kafolo, and uh, there is this place, and then there is a special villa which is five kilometers away from here. And this is what we have booked. We wanted to experience something different. So we have come here now. We are going to check where this villa is so that they can take us there. And I will show you guys how the surroundings are here. It's a very calm and beautiful place. And there are many rooms where you can stay. We are just going to inquire about where we have to stay. See how beautiful it is. So basically there are many towns like this in and around Abidjan. Abidjan is a capital city but there are many other towns which offers a variety of resorts, lagoons and uh, beach area resorts. So I've in my channel I've uploaded a lot of different towns where you can go and spend your time. This is one of the places that we have come and hopefully I will be showing you all the beautiful places. so this here when you enter the kafolo lagoon this is a small restaurant that they have so if you want you can have your meals here it just faces the lagoon and it is really beautiful so here is the reception basically you can come and inquire about your rooms and anything so this is how it looks as I told you there are different rooms so there are some few rooms just next to this reception area let us go and I will show you how it is I think this costs 30,000 per, per night 30,000 sefa per night and uh, these are quite small but it is facing the lagoon they have different rooms as well but there are some just next to the reception this is what I wanted to show you yeah guys one more thing is when you come to these places make sure that you will not get something vegetarian they only uh, like have the menu whatever they find in the lagoon so all the seafood menu you will get but not specifically the vegetarian so if you are a vegan and if you are traveling to such places I prefer you carry your food with you so that it is easier for you you will not struggle uh, yeah this is one of the pointers uh, other than that the place is very beautiful calm somewhere where you will have no disturbance you can just take rest and you'll have peace of mind you can meditate you can exercise and you can just be on your own so it's a very beautiful place and uh, we have not yet reached to our room or our villa where what we have booked we are still waiting but what i have seen so far is so beautiful and uh, looking forward to spending a great weekend in jacqui now comes to the private villa that we have booked and look at the beautiful beautiful swimming pool area and the rooms just opposite to it that you are seeing from here is the rooms that we've booked i'm so excited to start the weekend with this beauty so let me just give you a quick room tour of where we are living that's the small terrace and as soon as you enter there's a room which is your main room where you can sleep and then you have a tv and basic things like table chair and that's the bathroom so this is it 
it is very basic but yet beautiful that's the night view of how our resort looks like decided to have dinner outside so we've ordered food here in this beach uh, we've ordered fish we've ordered chicken we've ordered some local food as well guys it's day two yesterday we had delicious dinner at one of the places which i will give the name below in the description box you can go there they really have a lot of varieties and the place is just at the beach and it's a very very beautiful shack this is where we had our dinner and we were so tired so we slept and uh, right now it is 7 a.m we are uh, about to have our breakfast in some time but before that my family is swimming, I'm not swimming because I really don't know how to swim. I just go into the water and sit. And uh, I thought I will just take a... So I thought I will just take some beautiful videos and pictures and uh, vlog a little bit. Uh, till the time they finish, then we have uh, some of the activities lined up which a uh, hotel offers. So we will do that and then later we'll have our lunch and then go back to Abhijan. So this is what the activity is. So two days, I think two nights are more than enough when you're coming for uh, to spend some time here unless you want to take more rest. So um, yeah, this is about Jack Wheel uh, Kafolo and uh, let's see what day two has to offer us. So this is the entrance of the villa we have parked the car here you can see that it is completely outside the outside the main town and now so that's the entrance and uh, let's go inside so we are staying at the back side where there's a swimming pool but there's another room and look how beautiful and green the entrance is and there are hidden lights like this you see like this all over so in the night it just looks beautiful so we enter there's a beautiful garden you can take beautiful pictures here and there's one room this one which is the biggest room and there are two behind there are only three rooms so when you book there's no constraint of the people if you can adjust and he is Sere from Guinea he is showing us the room though we are not staying here but he is just showing this room and look at the angels This is the room. And that's the bathroom. A small shower room. Say bonjour. Bonjour. And you have a little balcony where you can sit and enjoy the nature but i personally love the other two rooms because it has a swimming pool view so to go there we have this way 
we have this day and there are so many beautiful flowers different kind of plants that they've planted all over i don't know which plant is this but it looks so nice and look at this beauty i personally love where there's greenery and this one and so many so let's go <laughs> Let us go behind to see. I think this one is a sugar cane. Yeah. This one is a sugar cane. And these are some beautiful flowers over there. Yeah, so these are the windows which you open and you have this back view. And there are so many coconuts. I think we are gonna have fresh coconut water today. So guys, uh, let me tell you the room cost and how much will be the budget if you come to Jackwheel. So to come to Jackwheel before there was no bridge but now they have a new bridge uh, which directly takes you from Abidjan to Jackwheel and the time is around one and a half to two hours you pass through Yupugo and then you come to main Jackwheel town and to come here it takes another half an hour so just say two hours from Abidjan to Jackwheel and once you are here there are two Kafolo uh, villas there is one which is uh, five kilometers away from where we are it is inside inside the bush and then there there are rooms but the rooms are not like private people will uh, have like there are many rooms where different people will live with you and the rooms are a little bit smaller but it is nice as well it has a lagoon view and it is very unique and there's a small zoo there's bar there are many things many activities that you can do there now if you have uh, if you plan to just spend some more time privately then you can book this villa because here you will have your own swimming pool so you can take your time and you can enjoy with your family now the difference between these two the cost is the other one is 30,000 per night and this one the biggest one is the 70,000 which I just showed you that is 70,000 per night and the small rooms which is facing the swimming pool is 50,000 per night so that becomes if you are coming with like a bunch of people you book two rooms that will become 100,000 per night and they have a complimentary breakfast uh, they also provide food uh, but you have to order it it is a little bit expensive and is not very yummy so my personal suggestion is there is uh, there are some places nearby where you can go and have food and they are really delicious they are just located at the beach so you will have beautiful ambience you will have fresh air and fresh food uh, basically seafood here you will get everywhere and fresh seafood so if you are someone who loves seafood uh, it is the perfect place for you and the people here are very welcoming so once you come you don't have to worry about anything whatever you ask they will provide you so this is the information regarding the room and the food and coming to the transportation you it's better that you come with your own vehicle so that you can take your time roam around and see some places uh, also coming to the activities uh, there is a water tour where they take you in the boat we will go now we will do that tour now and uh, there's a zoo where kids can just have uh, uh, like just take their time to see different animals and there are some sliders and all where kids ca kids can play There's a beautiful church which you can visit as well. It's quite big yesterday I saw that church. I couldn't film it because it was night, but there is a church where you can go uh, So yeah, this is quite a bit of information that I gathered and if there is anything else I will be audio recording it and telling it to you uh, in the video so yeah day two uh, we are absolutely in love with this small paradise that we have in Cote d'Ivoire and uh, if you are someone who is looking for a place outside Abidjan this is a this is this can be your perfect weekend gateway so I'm going to have my breakfast and take some more pictures and then take you guys around let's go
Hey guys, so we are finally here for the breakfast and let me show you how beautiful the breakfast setup is just behind me over there. Look how beautiful the decoration is here like this house is uh, not basically for renting I've asked them so this one is for the manager and it is facing the lagoon and beautiful coconut trees all around and look at these beautiful coconut decoration that they did so there is a person who is taking care of all the decor here so he uses everything which he gets and then he decorates it Hey guys, so finally we have seen everything in Kafolo and we are just about to leave. But before that, I wanted to show you the tree house. It looked very insane because there's a vet, it, they literally did it in the tree, inside the tree. There's only one bed which can fit inside, and it is so creative and thoughtful. So we thought we'll just come inside and see the room. It is 40,000 sefa per night but it is worth it you will have a lifetime experience here so yeah we've just seen that and we've seen everything here and we're just about to leave mm -hmm.